here at magics.com. At Magics, we develop solutions that help Facebook advertisers achieve success. We're developing technologies that help you hit your ROI and return on ad spend goals, scale up your campaigns, and save time, save money, and basically make more money. Let me show you how are we doing it. Magix is a secret weapon used by thousands of advertisers and ad agencies all around the world. This is the dashboard. The dashboard, you can see it as a cockpit view of all of your advertising performance. It brings you a bird eye view of trends, of uh, uh, performance leaks and opportunities where to improve. Also, Magix automatically identifies your acquisition, retargeting and retention audiences, so we, you know where to put the focus. Now that we see our performances, we need to create a better strategy, launch more campaigns, ad sets, and ads. Usually advertisers start by creating Magix campaigns next to their own campaigns. You will see that in 90% of the cases, Magix campaigns always wins your current structure. Let me show you how you can create a full funnel strategy with Magix. This is our audience menu page. This is exactly where you choose the audiences that will create your full funnel audience strategy. As you can see here, we have acquisition re-engagement audiences, acquisition prospecting audiences, including ERFM audiences, AI audiences, special audiences, product catalog based audiences, URL based audiences, video viewers, lead gen, and even special audiences like Android high intent users and iOS. There are dozens of audiences ready for you to launch. These audiences are highly performing and you will already launch from here audiences that are highly likely to be winners. Over here you can see even retargeting audiences and specials one like multiple visits, high intent visitors, time spent deep browsing and much, much more. We also have retention audiences when you can target your existing customers, which is a gold mine to improve your existing performances. Let me show you how easy it is to launch seed audiences to look like from. Then you click next. Here we can, uh, we order, this is the optimized magic strategy, but if you don't want to use it, you can also go here and launch uh, those ad sets into existing campaigns or create a new campaign. I recommend to launch into the magic's existing campaign strategy. For this case, we'll turn off the CBO, okay? And we'll click next. This is the step where we select our creatives. Over here, we have acquisition prospecting and acquisition remarketing. So we will actually, over here, filter our acquisition performances because we want to know what our best creative for acquisition. Here it's sorted by CTR, but you can also sort it by ROAS, by CPL, or any one of your target goals. You can also apply additional filtering and then target only women, men, platforms, ages, and different type of creative formats. For this example, I will perform, I'll choose this and this, which are the top uh, performance, performers in this account. Uh, let's say in this one and this one too. Uh, and this one, uh, you can also create from creative clusters, from your Instagram posts and your Facebook posts. Okay, for this, also, if you want to insert from post ID or ad ID, you can click over here, insert post ID, insert ad ID. We'll also always use the post ID when we can to maintain your social proof. You can also select, save these creative formats, for example, best performing creatives for men. And I'm gonna save this. So next time, you don't need to do this step and you will right away select the best performing creatives for men. I'll click Save Changes, and here it's actually a very unique audience. Again, those audiences are just three out of hundreds of audiences that you can do. So there's so many combinations, there's so much opportunity, but for now, let, you, let me show you how top lookalike audience work, works. Um, over here, we'll select, it's already sorting our audiences by the best performance for the seed audiences. Okay, for example, here it's 2.83 ROS, but there's zero lookalikes on it. So I'm going to do all of the top five audiences, which have the best ROS, and it will look like all of them at 1%, you see over here, and put all of them inside one ad set. This is the, a super ad set you can create, um, and it's highly likely to perform really good. Um, you see it for yourself. 
will keep all the settings the same and I click save changes. Here it's targeting the video viewers. This is already a different campaign, remarketing. I will just go ahead, uh, because it's remarketing, I will keep all platform, platforms open and I will also not have here the, the age restriction. So I'll just, in this case, select all ages. Um, and yeah, I will go ahead, save changes. And that's it. If you want to create more permutations, all you need to do is click here, duplicate, see? and duplicate and now we can go here and for example change it from one percent to two percent and click save and this is the last stage over here you can see all of the creatives you have uh, you can see the full naming you can also change the for example you can remove the audience type and click apply the name uh, you can change it uh, you can white label it you can call it your agency name for example okay and change the naming as you see right. You can basically launch now or use our launch time optimization. The performance for this account has shown that when you launch at 1, a, a 1 p.m., it's the best time for this account. So I can just click here, launch time optimization, and those ad sets will be launched right away, but will start only in the optimal time, actually 15 minutes before. So by when it comes to 1 p.m., it will start already the delivery. Now all you need to do is click next, and that's it. The campaigns are launched inside your ad account. This is super powerful and you can launch like this, not just three, but the entire full funnel strategy and, and let it compete against your existing strategy and existing campaigns and you will see how the magic campaigns pick up and overperform them. It's good for you when they overperform because it means that you're doing more profits and you're succeeding. Okay, so really explore all of those audiences and be ready to launch them with different permutations and different strategies. There's also a lot of scaling. Okay, now we let it run for one, two weeks, and then we also have scaling strategies. But for the scaling strategies, I will talk about it a bit later on in the video. Um, okay, the next area I wanted to show you is automation. Because once we launched all of those campaigns and ad sets and audiences and ads, uh, someone has to manage it, right? And most probably today it's you managing it or your ad agency or uh, you as an advertiser you're spending a lot of time in the ad account. We created a set of automation tactics and strategies which are based on the best practices of industry experts and things, strategies that have proven to work and improve your Facebook ads performances. We have day trading tactics and we have tactics that manage your performance over time. All of the tactics you see here, they work in full orchestration with one another. You should, you should implement all of them. I will quickly show you here, for example, the sunsetting uh, um, strategy, which uh, grades your ad sets by performance and then it treats each ad set differently just like you as a media buyer would do. If it's a good performing ad set you would leave, you, uh, uh, and you have an ad set without a purchase, let's say, and it's already spending 58 pounds, um, at this point of time you would want to reduce the budget. So this would automatically reduce by 50% the budget of any ad set that got a consequent spend of 58 pounds without a purchase. 